Hello internet land, it's Japanese sex icon Moose here and I've got something really interesting to show you. We're on board the brand new dish Janot Mary Fisher 695. This is a really really groovy enclosed cockpit cruising slash family boat. Uh, I'm six foot one, six foot two depending and I'm sitting at the helm, I've got this nice sliding window, I've got the sunroof, I've got my two seven inch displays, my Mercury vessel view and my Lowrance. HDS7 Gen 3, my stereo system, and I'm 90% comfortable. I won't lie, I'm not 100%, but I'm a pretty big guy, as you can see. I'm more than impressed with this boat, and I'll tell you why. Firstly, when I first saw these boats, I thought they're a funny French thing, they'll be flimsy, they won't be as intense for the Australian conditions. Well, I've been sorely proven wrong, because it is very, very strong. The scientific way of building the boat has been approached as opposed to the slab old, heavy construction that we're used to in some of our more domestic builders. I think if you're interested in a boat for Victorian waters in particular with the enclosed helm, uh, the massive visibility though with the sunroof and these nice pillarless glass windows, have a look at these Genos. They're a real winner. I think especially for the price around 115k with some toys attached to it on an Australian trailer, legally towable. It's gonna be difficult to find a boat that fits all those other features for around the same money. Jason behind the camera is sitting comfortably in this little two person slash three person slash four person dinette, which can be converted into a bed for midgets. It has a fully enclosed helm. Uh, it's got a proper electric toilet, a nice small double berth up ahead. Everything is non-slip, nice big sliding window. This particular boat's powered by a 150 horsepower four-stroke Mercury. It can be powered with just about whatever you want. This engine I find very, very good though. Nice big displacement, three liter engine, heaps of low end torque. So you don't need heaps of power to push this big boat. And it is a big boat, I'm not gonna lie to you there either. It has some dimensions every which way. But with the torque of that 150, you can still cruise comfortably at 22, 23 knots with a top speed of around 30 odd, which is plenty for Victorian waters. If you want to go any faster than that, buy a speedboat, but that's obviously not the market that's aiming at. The cushions, the seats, they're all real high quality UV resistant material. We've got a little Waco refrigerator. We've got a little sink, pressurized water, ample deck space. It's not massive, but it's plenty big enough. Anyone that needs any more than that, needs to reevaluate their situation because I think that's it. Plenty of storage under the floor behind the lazarette, floor storage inside the cabin, floor storage under the seat, quality switches, nice solid stainless and teak steering wheels, twin windscreen wipers, twin, not just one, twin. Everything's really well thought out. There's a few things I'd suggest. I would like to see a more Australian proofed heavy duty uh, ground tackle, cleats, that sort of stuff. Uh, the winch option is fine for your med, your northern European weather. I think I'd like to see some, I suppose, more Australian design taken into the winching for drum winches, for example. Um, other than that, it's very hard to floor. The swim platforms are huge on these things. They're not full beam, they're more bow stern orientated, but that's all you need. Nice big, clear standing platforms for getting on and getting off. I'm interested in getting into diving. I know it sounds pretty crazy, but I would like to get into diving. And interestingly enough, I would see this as a good dive platform. You've got heaps of room to get on and off. A nice enclosed area for the person manning the boat while you're underwater. Heaps of room for your gear. And at the end of the day, you get a comfortable cruise home. You're not out in one of those big open dive boats like a Swiftcraft Dominator or a V19 or something. It's certainly a thinking man's boat. It's not gonna be the first option on a lot of people's lists, but I think anyone who spends a few minutes reading the facts, talking to the guys down here at Genoa and, and 38 South, I think uh, it's easily uh, convincible. Anyway, that's a real quick look at this Genoa Mary Fisher 695. For more information, just go into your favorite search engine, which is more than likely gonna be Google, punching, uh, Mary Fisher 695, that's the word. 
or you can get in contact with Jason down at 38 South. His contacts are just below. Or if you get really, really lost, send me an email and I'll forward you the proper contacts. Thanks very much for watching. Stay safe in the water and we'll see you later. This is nice, Jason.